Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about different types of artist scams and I'm going to be going over in depth about how these scams work and how scammers prey upon your dreams of becoming an artist in order to get your money. So I'm going to be talking about commission scams, fake gallerists, payment scams, all these different things that scammers do to try and get your money. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, stick around and let's get into it. So if you've made it this far into the video, I imagine that you've made some artwork in your life or some paintings, whatever it is that you've made, you've created something and you've put it out into the world, probably online, and some people are beginning to see it. And that's good, that's what you want, right? That's what you want as an artist, is some sort of recognition. And this desire is exactly what scammers are going to play into. They're going to play into your dream of selling or getting into a big gallery or getting your work reproduced in a bunch of formats and made available in stores. All these sorts of dreams, the dream is what they're selling. Okay, And the problem with a lot of these scams is that there is uh, a corollary often in the art world where there are people that sell reproductions. There are galleries that do a lot of promotion for artists. There are legitimate publications and magazines that um, ask for entry fees and these sort of things. So every one of these scams kind of has a corollary of somebody doing it the real way, right? So that's the first thing to acknowledge and it's kind of the first thing you should think about when you start considering is this a scam or not? And um, before we get into the different types of scams, that's going to be my advice all the way throughout this video, is just kind of do your own research and think about, is this actually a scam? Does something feel off about this? Does something smell kind of fishy, right? So let's get into it. The first one is the fake competition scam. So the fake competition scam will involve you getting an email and it will talk about um, some competition. They probably got your email from some list or they, you know, scraped it. Who knows how they got your email? But they know that your art, you're an artist, right? Maybe you just have your email on your art website or something like that. They get your email and they're going to send you an email that talks about this competition that they're holding and it's going to be the Laguna Beach Triennial whatever, and these participating galleries are going to be there, and look at this big list of people, and uh, we want you to uh, be in this competition as well, right? So they say that, you know, they have this whole history of doing these competitions in the past, and all you have to do is submit this $75 entry fee, and um, we'd be happy to process your work. And of course, what happens is you send the $75, and there's, there's no competition, you just sent your money away. So that's the scam. <laughs> pretty pretty easy, right? The next scam we'll get into is the art reproduction scam. So this is somebody that's going to write you an email once again, and they're going to say that I work for, um, you know, some company that does art reproductions, and I'm really interested in your work, and I'd like to make art reproductions of your work. They're high quality. They're going to be amazing. Look how many we sold for this person and this person. And what they really want is high-res images of your work. So they, they're going to want you to send them high-res images of your work, and then they're going to just take it, and then they're just going to sell your work. So that's the scam. Once again, pretty straightforward. They just get your high-res images, and that's it. They got them. Uh, the next one is a promotion scam. So this is somebody that will write you. <coughs> a lot of times they'll be on uh, Twitter or Instagram or something like this. And uh, they'll write you uh, in the DMs and they'll say like, hey, do you want to, or in the comments, hey, you know, promote your work on my page, Artists of Wildflowers or whatever. And um, you look at their Instagram, you know, um, profile and you'll see, wow, they have 146,000 um, followers and this last post they did got 21,000 likes or something. This looks crazy. So you, you think it's a legitimate um, Instagram profile that is just, you know, sharing work and uh, then they ask for money and they'll say, you know, for $100 we'll feature your work on our page. 
And so you send them a hundred bucks and they feature your work. And you, what you're doing is basically all their followers are fake and all of the likes and shares are all bots as well. So you're paying for the illusion that one of your posts got, you know, 2,000 likes on a fake profile that is filled with bots. So, but you sent them 100 bucks to get your imaginary likes, so that is all good. Uh, the next one is just a pay, payment, payment scam, and this can, uh, this can happen to anybody selling anything online. But if you're selling something online um, and you say, hey, I've got a painting, you want to buy this painting, and the person says, sure, I'll, you know, I'll buy it when I get the painting, um, send me the painting and I'll, I'll send you payment. And um, you just send the painting and they just don't ever send you money. <laughs> so that's it. Um, not exactly the most complicated. Most of these scams are not that complicated. But they, once again, it's, it's kind of funny um, that they are so simple in a way, but it's so easy to fall victim to them. Because like I said in the beginning, a lot of artists really, you know, they have a dream and they want recognition and they want their work out there in the world and they want to get feedback. You know, getting likes is kind of like a very um, easy way to see how much feedback you got. Like how many people like this? Wow, 2,000 people like this, right? So that's a lot of positive feedback. And if you're selling that, um, you're going to have a, an audience of people interested in buying that too. Um, the next one is commission fraud. This is pretty simple as well. Um, somebody asks you, hey, I want, um, I want you to make a painting of my child or whatever. And you're like, okay, I'll do that. And then they don't pay you. So as an artist, if you ever do a commission, I never do commissions. Um, but if you ever do a commission as an artist, you should always just um, ask for the money up front. You know? Try to get the money immediately and... Uh, then make the work, and if there's revisions, uh, then they can pay you more money, right? So they should know you as an artist. Create a artwork at a certain level, and it's going to be good enough. And if they only want to pay you half, I honestly just wouldn't do business with them. Say my rate is two hundred dollars for a portrait, or five hundred dollars for a portrait, and then I do revisions for one hundred and twenty-five dollars each, or whatever it is. Um, but make sure they know that up front. They're paying for the whole thing. Right? You don't go in and get a tattoo and then it costs $200 and then you know, you're done with the tattoo and you're like, yeah, you know, maybe I need another tattoo. Can you give me another tattoo? No. Right? So revisions cost more money. Artist time is worth money. Sorry. Deal with it. Right? So if somebody wants a commission, get the money first. Then, <laughs> then deal with revisions later. Bring up revisions if you want. Um, and how much that's going to cost. So they're, they're really sure of that from the beginning as well. Um, the gallery scam is another really simple one. You get an email and they claim to be a gallery halfway across the world or something like that. And then, um, you know, they really like your work. They really think they can move your work and this sort of stuff. And then uh, you get a couple emails going back and forth. And then essentially they're going to ask for money in order to... Uh, show your work. So they're going to be like, oh, but I need money in order to promote your work. You should never, ever pay a gallery to promote your work. Just never do it. Okay? It doesn't happen. And uh, a gallery should be happy to promote your work and take 50% of your sales. That's all the incentive they need. You know, they want to sell your work because they get half the price of it. Right? You don't need to be paying them money on top of that. So... This is this happens though. You know, people will act like galleries, and they're fake galleries. They're they're not real galleries. Um, they're not real gallerists. They just want. They're just people that want money. They want your money. Um, publication scams. Again, there are some legitimate magazines out there that ask for um, entry fees. I don't think entry fees are always a scam. Um, however, uh, there are also publications that are just completely made up, and. Um, so I would look at, you know, I know a couple, you know, new American paintings, no problem paying for an entry fee there, right? Um, there's another one called Friend of the Artist, a great publication as well. They're, they make real magazines that look beautiful and, um, 
you can see the results of, the, of their work. And a lot of great artists are in those magazines. So if you are approached by some publication that wants you, and it, that's already kind of a red flag because you should be approaching them, right? But if you are approached by some publication um, that's asking for a fee, it, it's probably a red flag already. Um, but go to their website, look at the other artists they've shown, and uh, figure out, you know, is this the right thing for me? Um, another one is an NFT scam, which I think is kind of a pity um, because NFTs obviously have a really bad rap. And I actually think that there is a, a really big future in digital collectibles and the ability to sell digital images and more importantly, resell digital images is not something that's going to be going away. Regardless, um, the NFT space is full of different types of scammers as well. And one that happens quite frequently is somebody will comment or send a message or DM and say, I would like to buy your work as an NFT. And um, if they want to buy your work as an NFT, you can mint an NFT on OpenSea or something like that, right? You can mint it there, you can set your price, you can do all this sort of stuff. And uh, what I imagine happens is they get into some sort of strange discussion with you and you end up sending them money so they can send you money or something like this. But if you want to sell your work as an NFT, just do, through, do it through like one of the legitimate established sites like OpenSea. Um, it's kind of like selling on Etsy, right? If everybody kind of knows how Etsy works, and if you make a pillow that you want to sell, you can just put it on Etsy. Somebody shouldn't be contacting you, asking you to put your pillow on some other weird website, and that's the only way they can buy it. And be like, okay, I, I put it up on Etsy, you can buy it there, right? Um, the last scam is, the, and this is kind of getting into the weird influencer territory and this sort of thing as well, but is... Um, art coaches who are selling you monetary success. Now, there are different types of art coaches that work. There's different type of mentors out there that are absolutely legitimate. I'm a mentor. I take mentoring actually seriously and I try to do a good job at what I do. Um, however, there are some art coaches out there that are simply selling the dream of making a lot of money. And I would say this is a major red flag because most art coaches should be focused on selling or getting you to get better, right? So it's all part of this, you know, industry which sells the idea of selling something rather than um, getting work to the point where there's a demand for your work. And oftentimes people will skip that step of I need to make a lot of work first. I need to get a lot of feedback and that takes decades, that takes a long time, that takes years and years and years for established artists. They're still working all the time on their work, trying to get better, trying to make different things, right? So I understand that artists need help with marketing and that's important, sure. And I think there's also demand for um, teaching artists the basics about how galleries work, this sort of stuff, fine. But if somebody is trying to sell you the dream of, you know, just, you know, here's how you become a, you know, a major artist, um, it's, it's really, it's kind of equivalent of somebody selling, um, here's how you become a Hollywood actor, right? This is what you got to do to become famous in Hollywood. Just do this, this, and this, and then look at the person who's selling this dream and think, are you doing this? right like you're not actually selling your paintings you're selling the idea of selling paintings right so just be a little bit careful with these types of um art coaches and mentors and these sort of things they shouldn't be selling you the idea of how to sell stuff they should be trying to get your work better trying to get you better at marketing all these sorts of things and once again there are legitimate people doing this but there are definitely people taking advantage um, of artists, especially artists who are struggling and want to get their work out, they're in a position that makes them very susceptible to manipulation in these types of scams. So thanks for watching and um, I hope you learned something today and I wish um, you the best of luck in all your painting adventure adventures um, and endeavors. So.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this sort of content so I can grow the channel and keep making videos. I've been making these videos free for like 15 years. Yeah? Never charged for any of them. Please, like, subscribe, share, comment, anything. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.